Today we're going to show you an incredible guitar, but also talk about a missed opportunity from Martin. Why didn't they just call this the HD56? Let's get into it. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com if you're new to the channel. Subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos. If you want to support us, send us food. Check out our, <laughs> our spring store linked in the description below. And check out our podcast, The Fretboard Confessional, wherever you get your podcasts. So I am going to, this is my truth, call this the HD uh, 56 from now on because it's an HD 28 times 2. That works for so, me. So there you go. It's an HU2812 officially. Um, you know, I think that's a missed opportunity, but very cool guitar, something that you don't see a lot of in stores, but Alamo Music is special. Yeah. So we have one. I um, I dig this guitar. I There's not a ton of 12 string options from Martin. One hell of a headstock. On oh that. yeah. I mean, if you remember when we did the J45 12 string, you'll remember that it was like this. This yeah. one's a little better. Yeah. Um, I will also say, just a quick anecdote. Through a series of unfortunate events, we received a Gibson J4512 string with a broken headstock, which is crazy because I think it's the first time in history that a, a Gibson, Gibson headstock, headstock broke. broke. But especially um, with that much on it, you know. When Casey was fixing it, he took off all of this and weighed it against the guitar, mm -hmm. and that was heavier than. Than the guitar. Itself. Yeah, no, it's a lot of hardware. Um, and these are cool. This is uh, bringing back some childhood trauma, though, because I grew up in the 80s and I remember when they would paddle you at school. Um, and that's that's pretty much that big. Yeah. Not also, saying I was a troublemaker or anything. Yeah, that's sad. I <laughs> I grew up in the age when everybody was a winner. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> HD 28 12 string. It's an HD 28, but it's got 12 strings. There you go. Boom. Okay. And it's cool. We have shown you the Grand J 16E 12 string, right. um, which is a big old jumbo from the 16 series, still made in America, a little more stripped down than this. And they also have like an X series 12 string. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's kind of the move. It's similar to Taylor. They got the 100 series, they got 200, you know, they got the more affordable stuff and they got the high end, you know, um, builder's editions or, you right. know, sometimes limited editions. This is their premium 12 string option. We've been waiting for this thing for a long time and we both really like the J45. They're probably waiting for a mahogany tree to grow that long. Yeah, probably. Um, but I think it's great. It was set up absolutely perfect out of the box and it's a joy to play. Um, it will be your regular HT28, so spruce rosewood. Herringbone. And just this is a really great foundation for a 12 string because with the 12 string, you have those octave strings on the first four. You have all of that brightness, all of that typical kind of jangle. And so the way to counteract that is usually with a bigger body and with spruce and rosewood. That's your classic combination. And so this is taking all those typical classical Martin Hallmarks in an HD28 and then utilizing those to really bring about a phenomenal 12 string guitar. Really nice rosewood. So didn't David Gilmore have a 35, 12 string yeah. for a little bit, um, which I really like that guitar. I think we both wanted to get them in the store and weren't mm -hmm. able to, but this is here now. It is a standard model and it's not like this is a brand new guitar, but we've just been waiting on it um, and we have it. And you just, it's something that despite the fact that it's a standard model, it's in the lineup, you just don't see them very often. I mean, 12 strings make up a fraction of the market as it is. Higher end 12 strings make up a smaller fraction. Mm -hmm. And then when you look at, if, you know, from builder to builder, it becomes an even smaller slice of the pie. So to get an HD2812 in, it's just, it's like hen's teeth. You don't find them. I love that. I like that. That's a good Nice one. colloquialism. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a spruce rosewood dreadnought. So it's going to sound like a spruce rosewood dreadnought but has such a pretty sparkle on it. Um, I got to demo it, so take a listen. Thank you. 
it's a great sounding guitar, but sometimes even more important with the 12 string is playability. And this is a fantastically well set up 12 string straight from the factory. And it's, it's actually surprising kind yeah. of how well it plays given the amount of tension on the guitar, the, uh, the width of the nut, the neck and everything to accommodate the strings. It sounds fantastic. I will say that whenever we play 12 strings here, the thing that very quickly makes me decide if I really like it or if I hate it is how easy it is to tune. Yeah. Um, it was very easy to tune and it held tune straight out of the box. Like, you know, it was kind of off. It came in somewhat tuned, but obviously went out when it was shipping. But I tuned it once and, you know, played it. It sounds good. And the action, again, that's the other thing that I think about. And a lot of times 12 strings are just hard to play right and this one is very very easy to play so i dig it it is a high-end 12 string mm -hmm. um do you know what's the price on this one like probably 39 something twice like the that. price of an hd28 no I'm yeah. just kidding. i think you know like you said the market for somebody that's willing to spend that much on a 12 string they're probably somebody that primarily plays 12 string in a band maybe or i mean maybe they're a collector i just think about i've known people that are the front man, they're strumming chords, and they're like having a 12 string. Um, this is one of the best that I have played for like a professional that's playing a 12 string. It, it would hit all the marks for me if I was that person. Or if you've got an HD28 that you love, you might as well get its, uh, its partner. It's siblings. Has... It's H the HD56. Yeah. So, um, you know, if you want to know information about this, it's on our website if you get a chance to buy it, because I'm now going to try to sell this to Cooper. Do you have a 12 string? I don't. I have a Nashville strung ovation, and that's how I get by in the studio. Uh, okay. Um, I just like when I'm sitting down <laughs> recording with it, it's and cool. it's constantly going like this. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's great. You know, you can really quickly convert that into a lap steel. I don't actually have a problem with ovations. I've owned a few, but um, Nashville tuned. Uh, you need a twelve string. Um, so I have a 12 string, yeah. we, we've featured it on this channel, it's a little bit of a different thing, but here's what I, in fact, I was having this conversation with Balake, uh, Blake, uh, this morning, in fact, and he was asking me about my Jones for guitars, you know, my Jonesing for particular things, and there are things that I want to film, you know, in my collection, but I, I'm pretty comfortable right now um, with what I have. And, and I told him one of the last things was getting that 12 string mm -hmm. because I, it's, I've said this before so many times, they are creative powerhouses. You pick them up and you play them and you play something new and unique. Sometimes yeah. you play something you've already written mm -hmm. or played before and you play it in a different way. And I think for someone's collection that's a serious guitar player that maybe gigs and records a lot and it's featured on band albums like, you know, someone over here, you need a really nice 12 string. And I, I think you should get one of these. That's what I think. I would like one. Um, I got other holes to fill first. If you'd like to support right. Cooper's 12 string uh, need, you can <laughs> send that, your donation that too. That actually works for me. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I would like a 12 string. Isn't your 12 string tuned to C sharp? Yeah, or sometimes B. And I'll tell you what's really cool about this. And you can do this with a normal 12 string. So you can tune this down or whatever. I actually have to do math when I'm playing with someone else. And I'll pull up a chord chart and act like I'm capoing on the ninth fret if they're in standard. Because yeah. then it, the math works and I'm in the right key. Um, but playing a 12 string and playing another guitar and then playing a guitar that's like capoed up. And then playing a baritone, like creating yeah. the guitar orchestra. It's amazing. It sounds great. Yeah. Listen to some Joni Mitchell, mm -hmm. and that's like my dream sound. So I guess I do need to talk to him. See, yeah. talked him into it. So if he doesn't buy this, it will be available on our website, which is alamomusic.com. And the selection of Martins right now is pretty sweet uh, with some things that are hard to find like this. Best selection around, and I don't just mean San Antonio. And, and I'm not just us saying that. People walk into our store and tell us from all over that we have like the best selection in nice guitars. So I think we got really good stuff, and uh, I I think it's going to only get better this year. Um, very excited for some of the stuff that's coming through, and I think we will be some of the first to have it. So keep an eye on the Martin page. And if you want to see the reviews and stuff that we do on those things, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. You've hit that bell icon to turn on notifications. 
like our videos so that other people find out about this channel because that, that helps us and we appreciate it. Um, and let us know what you think about this awesome guitar and let's just take an unofficial vote in the comments, should Cooper get one? So <laughs> let us know your thoughts. As always, if you're new to the channel, do those things, but keep coming back and uh, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.